Last week, I gave you a tour of the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager interface, and I told you it was fully customizable. Today, I'm gonna to introduce the theme system and show you all how it works. But first, let's take a quick look at how we got here. This was the dashboard of the very first Pineapple in 2007. It had maybe five buttons, and that got replaced with the Mark III with what I lovingly called my BBS-inspired theme, and that got refined through the Mark V. With the sixth and seventh gen, the emphasis was on professionals, and it followed a Wi-Fi pen test workflow with plenty of subtle refinements. And now as we take the Wi-Fi Pineapple to the next era with the pager, we want to have all of the polish on it for our professionals on those pen test engagements, but we also want to balance it with that need for hacking to be fun, because it should be fun. And so the default theme is inspired by hackers and war games, but as you're going to see, you can make it your own. Let me show you. For as much fun as it is to write a good payload, the same is true in themes. I'm here in Payload Studio, and if you look at the main dashboard, you can see it's just simple JSON. You specify a title, the icon files, the XY coordinates, and then they can even have like nesting and relative positions, and everything can be recolored, sort of like with CSS. Then the target tells the pineapple what submenu to launch, and each of those has their own individual theme file. Spend a little time in Photoshop or GIMP working on these assets, and they live as PNG files with transparency so they can layer on top of each other. Here's a theme I did that's a pineapple take on the classic Windows XP Aero. Instead of a status bar at the top, I put the battery icons and volume icons and whatnot in the system tray at the bottom. And as you navigate, you can see it's pretty true to form. Here's another I'm working on that's based on one of my favorite games growing up. And this one is literally just a photo of my car with the default icons colors changed because they're just RGB values in JSON. This probably took me 10 minutes because I can just drag and drop assets over SSHFS and yes, that is a 987.2 with the PDK gearbox. If there's one thing I love about Hack5 Gear, it's writing payloads, or better yet, digging into someone else's payload, getting inspired, learning how they did things, and then sharing that creativity. And obviously with the pager, we are going to build this into the repository so you can share and do much the same with themes. And I am so excited to see what kind of creativity you guys come up with. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts on themes because your feedback directly impacts our developments. And if there's something you wanna see next, drop a comment. Trust your technolist.